All right, so I'm over my 1,000 mark here, and once you get over 1,000, they tend to charge you for this stuff, right? So what I want to do is that I know that I have a whole bunch of cold subscribers. So what I want to do is, the first thing I did was I sent out an email. I sent out a broadcast just to those 311 recipients, so I'm going to go check out that report. And... I only sent it to my cold subscribers and I could do that through a filter when I when I was setting up my email right and I'm gonna look here and I see that absolutely nobody of those 311 people clicked on it even though like it looks like maybe like two people opened it right let's see who opened it here oh we had a couple okay so six people out of 311 opened it but nobody clicked on any of the links and I loaded this email down with a million links like there were a whole bunch of things they could have clicked on and if they didn't click on any of them they're not interested so instead of me paying for those 311 people I'm going to remove them from my list so let's go back to the home page here go back to subscribers and if you come down here to confirm subscribers this little drop down it doesn't look like a drop down if you didn't know about this button and you click here you go down to cold subscribers and it will bring up the top 30. Click select all. Now it's only gonna show the 30 on the page, but there's 307 more, right? But I'm gonna select all 307. You'll have a different number. And now 307 subscribers in the account are selected. So something happened between, we probably had some unsubscribes, and that's probably why this number is different than 311. So, but that doesn't matter. What we're gonna do though, is that we are gonna go over to bulk actions and the first thing we're going to do is export these people. So now it's saying we're exporting. We'll send you an email when it's done. I'll come back to this video when that is in fact done. All right, so now we've got our ConvertKit subscribers export. We go click here to download the file. It will download a CSV file. Now that we've had that copy of it, I was going to put it on the screen, but it's got everybody's information in it, so I won't do that. But we're going to go back to subscriber here, and then from here, we're going to go ahead and we still got everybody selected. I didn't change anything from that previous screen. Still got all 307 people selected, right? And now we're going to go over to bulk actions, and we're going to move to delete. This is always jarring because you're just like, oh, do I really want to do this? And we're saying, okay, we're permanently going to delete the subscribers. We have 307. I've got 100, what's 100, 1,024 in here. All right, we've got it. We're going to do it. And we're going to hit delete and hold our breath and hope we did it right. <laughs> it's it's very easy to do. We know that we're, we're not screwing things up. It even says up here, subscribers are being deleted. Take a moment. You know, I wish that the screen disappeared when you hit delete subscribers, but that's just a bug or something. So that's it. All right, guys. So now I have deleted it. I It still shows 1,024 here, but I bet you if I refresh it or just click subscribers, it will give me an updated number. Yep, there we go. 717 of true subscribers, people that actually open my emails. And you know that these are is a real number too, because if you ever wondered if somebody is signing up for your freebies and, and not necessarily like a real person, um, with ConvertKit, you can be sure that they are real people because when they signed up for your freebie, they had to confirm their email address. So it was not like, like it's not something that can be automated. So anybody that signs up for your stuff, you're getting a real address because they had to click on that button somehow. So, all right, so that's it from now. We have my, up, my open rate went up too. So getting rid of those bad subscribers up to everything too. My click rate went up, nice. Okay. Well, that's it from now. I hope this has been helpful. Take care. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.